Many films are based on factual stories. The latest cinema hit, The Climber, is a story dating back to the 1960s. How was the real story like? How did the filmmakers bring us back to the past? Today, I have Mrs. Wang Ji with us. She's the producer of the film. Hello, Mrs. Huang. Hello. Um, how did you come up with the idea of adapting this story to a film? And what makes it a good story for the film? Um, the story is based on a true story during the 1960s. And it's a very difficult time for the country. And the story not only about 1960, it's also about 1975. And the two times um, the climbing team, they submit the top of the Chumurama. The story is about the heroes. Um, I mean, they are real heroes, you know, in 1960s. At that time, um, people, I mean, all the climbers, they short of equipment, they short of food, and they short of uh, oxygen. At that time, we do not have, um, uh, actually, they are not well trained when they um, accept this uh, mission, but they overcome a lot of challenges and at last um, they submit the top. That's why it's very exciting for me because it's, I, I know at that time it's very, very difficult for them. Um, climbing Mount Everest is such a difficult task. Many people were ill fated and lost their lives on their way to summit. So did the shooting take place in real mountain or did you use some virtual technologies? How difficult it is for a celebrity and a staff? Usually this kind of movies is about climbing mountains and they, are, they were shooting uh, in the studio, in the studio, because it's very difficult to shoot this kind of um, films. And I mean, uh, director Li Rengao, um, he's very experienced and he's very professional. And uh, he selected the place is in Tianjin, it's in, in the mountains. Many celebrities such as Wu Jing, Zhang Ziyi, Zhang Yi, um, star this film. Many of them are not even playing the leading roles. So what attracts them to participate in this film? Uh, in my eyes, all of them, they are leading roles. Uh, I guess because of the, all the hero stories, they attract them because they are act heroes. I mean, all the celebrities, they act heroes. The story is about a lot of heroes, not only one or two. So all the uh, celebrities, uh, they, I, I guess they love to be heroes in the film. Since this movie takes place in 1960s, I think it's a bit distant for the audience of my age and even my parents. Um, so what message uh, does this movie deliver? Um, China is rising now and uh, the spirit of the, all the climbers is still meaningful for us, for young people. The spirit is the all the climbers, they overcome all the difficulties. They take the mission, they finish the mission, and it's not for themselves, it's for the country. And everyone has a dream in their heart. It's, it's very hard for everyone to achieve the dream. So um, I, I guess the movie tells everyone, um, you have to insist, you have to try your best to achieve your dream. Um, you used to be a playwright in TV dramas. Now you are a film producer. And I know that your kids is learning filmmaking. So do you have any advice for young students like us who seek to have a career in film? In my, in my opinion, if I have some tips, I, I want to say you have to read a lot of books, you have to travel around the world and experience a lot. I mean, uh, in film industry, the competition is very strong, so you will meet a lot of difficulties. I mean, in life, you will meet a lot of difficulties, just like the climbers. When they climb the mountain, um, they face to a lot of difficulties. So at that situation, you have to insist on something, and you believe in yourself, and uh, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, be brave.